Actor Liev Schreiber is best known for his roles as a professional fixer on the TV drama Ray Donovan and as Sabretooth in the big screen action pick X-Men Origins. Now in the new movie Chuck, he's taking on the part of Chuck Wepner, the man who inspired the film Rocky. And we have a sneak peek. How can I help you, Mr. Wepner? A fellow boxing? Rocky? Tell Sly Chuck's here. I can handle this. He should. Would you mind uh, telling Mrs. Stallone that uh, Chuck Wepner's here? Is he expecting you? What? Is he expecting you? Yeah. Yeah, he's expecting us. That's good. Leah, good morning to you. Thanks. Good morning to you. Let, let's talk about this movie here, getting this film made. It was a passion project of yours. What drew you uh, to this role, to Chuck Webner? I've always uh, been a fan of boxing. Um, and when Mike Tolan brought me this script about 10 years ago, I was just really uh, sort of shocked and embarrassed that I didn't know Chuck's story. Oh, I feel better because I didn't either. And yeah. I thought... You know, a lot of us, I lived in Philly for 10 years. We all know Rocky, uh, but I didn't realize it was based on, you know, this yeah, guy here. Yeah, I think that the film in many respects sort of overshadowed Chuck's career. But mm. he, was a, he was a remarkable guy, a remarkable fighter, and uh, had a really incredible story. And when it comes to fighting in the movie, I mean, how much of that was real? Did you want it to be as real as we possible? Had a, we or? had a couple of boxers come in from Wild Card uh, uh, East to do some boxing on Ray Donovan and the guys were sparring partners mm. and they were actually making contact with each other because they spar together so much mm. they know each other's timing without hurting each other and I thought that's the way to do boxing on film and because Pooch Hall the actor who plays Muhammad Ali and I are, are also sparring partners I thought well, why don't we try to learn the fights practice and, and you know he can actually make contact because I think so much of what defines Chuck as a fighter is resilience and getting hit and moving through that because, you know, Ali really put a whooping on him that night. Yeah. Um, and so that's what we did. Uh, and, and for the most part, it just seems painful. Really well. It seems like uh, after the, at the end of a day of filming, yeah, you probably, I was a little you, swollen. Yeah. I was a little swollen. You know, I had so much prosthetics on, though, that it really didn't hurt. And, and Pooch, to his credit, has got tremendous control. What's the message? What's the message you want people to take away from this? I think for me, you know, uh, we've had the script for about 10 years. I, I think in the course of that time, I've had a couple of children and I've been on a television show. So the aspect of Chuck's life that I think is a kind of cautionary tale about fame and our desire to be appreciated by the anonymous mob rather than the ones nearest and dearest mm -hmm. was something that really had a, a kind of profound effect on me. Wow. And you, you play some pretty intense characters, but can we talk about My Little Pony for a second? <laughs> Probably one of the more intense characters I've ever played. You do I'm, play the evil guy, I'm right? I'm the bad guy. Well, I'm usually the bad guy. That's another thing I love about Chuck, because <laughs> I think Chuck's the good guy. But yeah, I got to do something that my kids can see, you know? Well, there you go. Cheers to that. Leah, thank you so much. All the best. We should say Chuck is in theaters this Friday. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.